besties welcome back to my channel today we're gonna have a little cozy fall night routine i've honestly been feeling a little off probably just like really burnt out overtired so i figure we'll have a little self-care pampering kind of night and just hang out and if you're also just burnt out and tired maybe we can boost our moods together raise up the vibes and do all the self-care things and just hang out and have a cozy fun fall night routine so let's jump into it it's about four o'clock right now so i figure let's do some reading for a little bit and i don't know if you guys noticed these cutie little blue light glasses but i've been loving using blue light glasses especially because i'm literally staring at a screen all day long whether it's at work on my kindle my phone my laptop the tv sometimes i have like everything going on all at once and i'm overstimulated by everything and i enjoy that for some reason. So basically I'm pretty much always staring at a screen, which is why I wanna protect my little eyes and have some blue light glasses that I think are also really cute and kind of a fashion statement as well. Which actually brings me to the sponsor of today's portion of the video, Pear Eyewear. I've been dying to try out Pear Eyewear blue light glasses and safe to say, I'm obsessed love them and i love that you can mix and match the frames at any point it's just so fun and i love it so the ones that i got are the reshape with the tortoise base frame which i think is so classy and cute and beauteous and i'm obsessed with it but then i also whenever i want to change up the look boom now i have a whole different look i can like match it to my book or match it to my outfit which I love doing. I love matching my outfits to the books that I'm reading. It's just so fun. And it's magnetic, so you can literally just change up your look as simple as that. It's so effortless, it's affordable, and if you're looking for blue light glasses, prescription glasses, sunglasses, definitely try out pair eyewear. You could click the link, use the code MeganCariati15 for 15% off your order, and protect your eyes. Or just like have a cute little accessory to match with your books or your outfits. And yeah, I 10 out of 10 highly recommend. I'm so obsessed with these, and I can't wait to wear them all the time now. Let's talk about my current read right now. I am actually in the middle of filming a whole reading vlog where influencers pick the books that I read so I have a couple options to choose from at the moment also this kindle paperwhite I think I'm gonna make a separate video talking about my kindle and like what's on my kindle my kindle unlimited book racks because I know that they change those out so I know I have a video like that in the past so I maybe want to make a new one if you guys are interested and just give like my updated kindle unlimited book racks so I'm in the middle of keeping 13 which is also on kindle unlimited so I've been like kind of reading on the kindle and then on the physical book too so I could read keeping well I almost hit myself in the face with that I could read kind <laughs> I was gonna say kindle 13 i can read keeping 13 the deal by al kennedy or wild love by lc silver those three dare i say they're all on kindle unlimited i think so so i have those as options for what i could read i think i kind of want to jump into the deal by al kennedy i feel like i'm in the mood for just like a feel good light romance read and i feel like this would even though i love this book so far and i love the found family of it it's a little like too maybe slow paced for me and like even though it is cozy and comforting and you just fall in love with the characters i don't know i feel like this might be a little too heavy for me right now especially because i want to have like a self-care pampering night so i feel like i want to go for something a little bit lighter and i feel like the deal might be a good choice for me so that is the book that i'll be reading also i'm so excited that the off-campus series is going to be a tv show i cannot wait and i love to read the books before i watch the show or the movie adaptation so Hopefully I can finish them all. I mean, I don't even think they started filming the show yet, so I think I'll be good and be able to finish the whole series in time. But I just love reading the book before I watch the TV show or the movie. And I've heard nothing but amazing things about the series, so I'm excited to jump into it. So far, like, the tutoring situation is really giving from One Tree Hill. Oh my gosh, why can't I think of their names? Nathan and Haley. It's really giving that, and I'm eating it up. Loving it. I love, like, a tutor trope. Loving the energy. Loving the vibes. description for this book but if you guys don't know the off-campus series is kind of like an interconnected series it's a hockey romance that each each book follows like a different couple and their love story which i think is really cute i love when there's interconnected series and then it just builds on the found family and you have different love stories each time it's really fun really cute and this one is the first one it follows hannah and garrett and so far we're introduced to garrett as like this playboy he's well liked by everyone he's like the popular jock on the hockey team and hannah is very driven she's kind of like the take no bs type of character which i really appreciate reading about and basically garrett his gpa is plummeting and he needs her help to tutor him and you know i'm guessing romance and love will ensue i don't know the details quite yet because i like to go into it pretty blind but so far he's basically like begging and pleading with her to tutor him and we love amanda grapples so loving it so far <laughs> Okay, 
so I do want to clear up my space a little bit, kind of clean the room, have some new fresh energy, bring in the good vibes. So that's what I'm going to do. already up or will be up but this is my new kindle setup isn't it so cool and then i have the pair eyewear case which also the case is also very cute obsessed so we're in the boxes and garbage random water bottle one random water bottle two So, steps to get out of a rut. Number one, do your favorite hobby. For me, it's reading. Love reading a good book. It takes me out of reality and just helps calm me and just is fun and I love it. So, do a hobby that you enjoy. Second, clean your space, tidy up your room, tidy up your area. I promise you'll feel better afterwards. And number three, stay hydrated. We're gonna get a big mason jar of ice water and it's just gonna, it's gonna hit and it's gonna make us feel better. ladies she's crisp crisp let's make a vision board i love a good pinterest vision board to kind of like manifest i guess in a way what goals i want to achieve and just romanticize my life or the dreams or the things i'm working towards i love just making a little pinterest board and having like different images symbolize different things for me so let's make a cute little pinterest board for the new year maybe since we're coming close i mean kind of not really let me not rush it it is still october but the end of the year is coming so let's get on top of things let's get ahead of the game get clear on what goals we want to accomplish and who knows by january 1st who knows where I'll be and where my life will be at. So let's make a cutie little Pinterest board for funsies. And just to like boost the mood, get excited about your goals. I always like remind myself like stay grateful, stay excited. And that is the key to happiness I feel is just staying grateful for what you have, what you've accomplished, things around you, the people around you and the life that you have, just stay grateful. And then also have things to look forward to. Even if it's little things throughout the day, things you're looking forward to on the weekend or even bigger goals that you're working towards that you're looking forward to and can get excited about. I think that's so important. I don't really like making Pinterest boards on my laptop i like doing it on my phone so i'm going to insert a little screen recording and we could do it together if you want to make one as well i already started making a little board for what i want to manifest and like just the vibe and the like a mood board like just the fashion the hair or just like the energy that an image is giving off so let's make a new one start out i'm going to start out with an affirmation that says i'm so lucky everything works out for me i think that's steph bover but it's like a little canon camera she has the books in the background so i'm like booktube let's romanticize that let's put that on there. PR, let's try to manifest more of that because love, I mean, I'm literally so grateful every time I get PR from a brand. It's so, so cool. And you know, we're just romanticizing the influencer energy. So it's going on the mood board. The, the silver plaque that you get, I think it's for 100K. So I would love to hit 100K on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Like that's kind of like the goal of mine for right now. So I'm gonna stick that on there as well. Love this girl's hair. I'm actually obsessed with it and I feel like I need a haircut soon, so. Love her hair. This picture of Kendall Jenner, it's it's giving cool girl. It's giving like effortlessly cool, and that's the vibe that I wanna emulate. That's what we're going for. So that's gonna go on there. I have been toying around with the idea of potentially moving to Hoboken. So I have a bunch of pictures on here that like are from, I guess the Hoboken view or different streets from Hoboken. And I don't wanna talk about like moving too much because I, I don't know why I feel like I'm gonna jinx it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna, just tell you guys updates whenever there's something actually to update you guys on. So that's something that I'm working towards and that's a goal that I have. At some point I will be moving out for the first time and that's gonna be a really exciting chapter. And um, we're gonna put coffee on there, like nice coffee hangout. We'd love to do some more of those. Just like meet new people, go grab coffee, that kind of situation. I love her outfit and her energy in this one, love that. We're gonna go with this one. I just, I'm obsessed with this girl's hair. I have no idea 
who she is, but she's all over my Pinterest. And I'm obsessed with like the hair color and the haircut. So she's going on my vision board. I like this picture of just like friendship and manifesting positive, loving friendships into my life. So we're gonna put that on there too. Sabrina Carpenter, love her energy. We're adding her to the mood board as well. The 100K followers, let's add that on there too. Booktube, love to see it. Let's romanticize reading and booktube. Oh, I really like this one too. It says, act like the person you want to become. And it has like the whole self-care things, a video of a girl like doing an at-home workout, makeup and skincare and books. So I'm definitely gonna add that one to the mood board. I like this style. I like this outfit, which is like, I love just basic outfits that just like look effortlessly cool. So I'm gonna add that onto my mood board as well. I'm gonna put Rachel Green on my mood board where she belongs. Oh, I love this quote from Ariana Grande's song, Successful, yeah, it feels so good to be so young. It feels so good to be this young and have this fun and be successful. I'm so successful. I don't even know if that's how it goes, but that has just been in my head and I feel like it's a good motivator affirmation. Again, same girl, but I just like, every time she pops up on my Pinterest, I'm like, you're going. You're going on the mood board because the outfit slays, the tan slays, hair slays. So just a reminder that like, you know, I love a spray tan, love a self tan, love a good haircut, and I love this style. Is she a celebrity? I don't know. Oh, I love this picture too. It says, in your 20s, your 20s are your selfish years. It's a decade to immerse yourself in every single thing possible. Be selfish with your time in all aspects of you. Tinker with shit, travel, explore, love a lot, love a little, and never touch the ground. Just like the perfect quote for your 20s. And it has like all these different pictures and I just like wanna live my 20s, like have adventures. And I feel like maybe once I move out, like I feel like it'll be a new chapter and an exciting chapter. And I'm just excited for the rest of my 20s and to just make memories and have fun and meet people. And that's why you guessed it, she's going on the mood board. Again, just like manifesting like good friendships, fun friendships, and you know, a social life. <laughs> would love that because it literally all I do is work and then come home and read. But then I also hang out with you guys and I love you guys and you guys make me feel a lot less lonely and I hope I have the same effect with you guys. Cause you guys are my besties. Love you besties. Anyway, I thought this picture is so fun. It's like karaoke. Again, just like I want the fun, living my life, making memories, having adventures type of vibe. So that is also gonna go on the mood board. I think this is Sarah Crowley. I just love this vibe of like drinking a coffee, reading a book, headphones, laptop. I love the vibe, love, <laughs> love her vibe, love her energy. So. Sarah, you're going on the mood board. And then we have a picture of a camera and a bag. Again, I just like want to romanticize the vlogging aesthetic or the influencer aesthetic, I guess. So we're going to put that on the mood board too. Let's take a look at our home page and see if we get any more inspo. Learning to be grateful for myself. Oh, oh my God, POV. Oh, that's a good one. That's going on the mood board. Basically, I can choose every lyric right now. My present sweet and my aura bright. Diamonds are good for appetite. Yes. I actually just got a package, so let's see what's inside. I literally have zero clue, zero idea what this is. I think it's from ColourPop. Let's open it up. Oh my God. This is so cute. Frosty the snowman, tis the season to be freezing, and it has like a winter color palette. Are we kidding? Oh my gosh. Thank you, ColourPop. It's in the shape of a snowman. It's a blending sponge in the shape of a snowman. That is just the cutest thing ever. The packaging with Frosty the Snowman. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. That's so funny. This is a candy cane lip mask and scrub duo. A plumping, ooh, I love a plumping gloss. Bomb trio. A lip pencil. I love a lippy. I'm actually dead that it's like literally Frosty the Snowman. That's so funny to me. Oh my God, this is so cute. The colors are insane. This is so stunning, like this cool toned. I don't think I have like a really cool toned palette. So this is gorgeous. All these colors are stunning. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use these. I might want to do a TikTok about this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so honestly, I think I'm pretty happy with how this mood board came out for now. So let's just go through what we have on there so far. Do a little reveal. And again, like I said, it's always good to like, just stay excited about your goals, romanticize everything, and just get clear about like what you want and get excited about it, romanticize it. So I love this vision board so far and we'll see by the end of the year if any of them came true. And that would be really exciting. Oh, I'm probably gonna hop in the shower and take like a V shower and then check back in with you guys afterwards. So let's do it. I feel like I do thumbs up a lot. I should stop doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna shower. So see you guys in a little bit. And then to take off all my makeup, I'm gonna use the Murad Soothing Oat and Peptide Cleanser and go in with that. I just 
got out of the shower and just put my hair in this little hair wrap towel. And I actually used a hair mask in the shower. It's the Function of Beauty Wavy Hair Recovery Conditioner Mask. I don't really know if I have wavy hair. I think mine is like straight, but like not pin straight. It's like kind of in between. It's weird, but I figure let me just do a hair mask for the theme of self-care. And I think I'm gonna like wait till it air dries a little bit and then blow dry it out and then put on the self tan afterwards. And I figure in the meantime, before I blow dry my hair, I'll just paint my nails really quick. I think I wanna use this kind of brown almost. It's like a brown purple color is the best way I can describe it. It's from Olive and June. It's like one of their quick dry ones. So I'm gonna try that out. But first we had to take off this nasty chipped red nail polish. These Olive and June nail polish remover pots are literally the best thing I've ever tried ever because they just take off the nail polish so easy. I always used to hate taking off my nail polish because it was always so time consuming, but this makes it easy. So 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. I absolutely love it. It does have a strong smell, but it's powerful. Like literally you just twist it a couple times and completely off. Like, oh, sorry, <laughs> did not mean to flip you guys off. But just as an example, if you could see the nail polish. <laughs> sorry about that. tan luxe face drops and then on my body i use the loving tan mousse i usually like to sleep in a loose braid just to keep it everything together and make my hair less frizzy when i wake up in the morning so i did that and then i also made myself a little ginger tea so i'm gonna drink my tea and maybe watch a tv show or a youtube video just to unwind and relax because i do have work in the morning so i will probably be going to bed soon so i hope you guys enjoyed this little night routine and hanging out with me boosting the mood have a little self-care night and i hope you guys feel better too if you did everything along with me i love you guys so so much and i will catch you in the next one love you besties bye